The ACLU of Kansas says things have been going well for them so far as attorneys go back for this final day. Sharon Brett says the legislature tried to drown out the voices of Democratic voters in Kansas by passing the map that they did. In particular, uh, intentionally split the Black and Hispanic community in Wyandotte County away from crossover voters in Johnson County to dilute those minority voices. Brett represents 11 voters in Wyandotte, Johnson and Douglas County, who were upset at the way the maps were drawn. There are voters who um, are registered Democrats, have voted Democrat in past elections, and then under the Ad Astra 2 map uh, will have their voices and, and their political voices diluted. Um, so that they will not be able to uh, to elect a representative of their choice. The northern part of Wyandotte County would go into Congressional District 2, represented by Republican Jake LaTurner. People in southern Wyandotte and Johnson County would still be represented by Congresswoman Sharice Davids, the only Democrat from Kansas in the U.S. House. But the Republican Party hopes they can take the seat away from her in November if the new lines stay in place. Republican Attorney General Derek Schmidt says neither the U.S. or the Kansas Constitution grants state courts jurisdiction to hear legal challenges to federal congressional districts. At Astra 2 also moved Lawrence from the 2nd Congressional District to Kansas's Big First, which covers all of western Kansas, not eastern, so the Democratic city would now be lumped in with more conservative communities. The District Court of Wyandotte County will issue a ruling in the next 10 days, but there will likely be an appeal and the case will likely be heard by the Kansas Supreme Court. So the fight over redistricting in the state of Kansas, not over yet.